Hi, this is Jo Marie Domino, and I'm here with Vippy's Designs, and I am doing a showcase of their newest Christmas napkins that have just gotten added into their napkin shop, www.vippies.com. Included in this showcase, I am doing not one, but two DIYs. If you're going to get the napkins, I love for you to have ideas on what you can do with these napkins. And I'm not just doing two DIYs, I'm going to give you ideas throughout the entire video. So these are little things that you can give as gifts with the holidays. They don't necessarily have to have Christmas on them, and you're going to absolutely love how I do these little napkin cards. Yes, I did that with the paper napkin so cute i also have a product i absolutely love and i've included that in this video as well vippy's designs has hundreds and hundreds of napkins in their napkin shop you can get Christmas any time of the year, not just around Christmas time. If you want Christmas napkins in May, they've got them. This is just their newest napkins that are going into their napkin shop now. Make sure you like and follow Vippy's Designs on Facebook and on Instagram because they always put their newest stuff there. I like to put their things on my Facebook page too, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino, where I'm always showing you the little projects I do using Vippy's Designs napkins make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel like and follow me there let's get started The napkins I'm going to show you today are a larger size napkin, or sometimes referred as a dinner napkin, a hand towel, a buffet. I like to call them the long ones. I'm going to start with this one. It's a lovely Christmas tree topiary. I'm going to hold it up there so you can see. It's kind of got that vintage look to it. And when I see an image that is narrow like this, I always think, boy, this would look really good on a bottle. I love these traditional Santas, kind of remind me when I was a child. And when I saw this napkin, I thought, boy, this would look so good on the center of a glass cookie plate. The ones that we do reverse decoupage. I love them. Makes a good gift. All six panels are printed. Another Jolly Santa, also in that very traditional look, uh, be cute on a sign. You could put it on your cocoa bar if you do one of those in your kitchen. It's really cute, very, very Christmassy. Now, for those of you who love Snoopy or you have family or friends who love Snoopy, I mean, who doesn't love Snoopy? You could put this decoupage on like a old coffee can. You can put dog treats in them and give it to your family and friends who have dogs, kind of like a little gift for them. And this Snoopy, also big jumbo, like they put a magnifying glass over it. Good gift for a dog watcher. You have someone who comes in and watches your dog, your dog goes to doggy daycare, do it on a coffee tin, and there's some glitter, and then fill it with some cookies or candy. Make a great gift. This is so cute because it has an assortment of dogs on it and they've got their winter gear on it and there's all different breeds. And check out the background. The background of this napkin is a pink color. Pink is getting to be very, very popular in Christmas decor. If you like to do Christmas projects but kind of want to leave them out there during the winter, well, this is a perfect napkin for that. It's got big jumbo blue snowflakes with a beautiful soft blue background. Whatever you decide to do, I would definitely finish it off with lots and lots of glitter. The next few napkins I'm going to show you are what I call a continuous pattern. Some people call them panoramic. And what exactly does that mean? All right. If you look at the images and look down at the fold, nothing is cut off. So you can do a larger project. Another really cute Snoopy napkin. I'm going to hold it up so you can see. It is covered with all these tiny little images of Snoopy doing Christmas things. He's hanging out with his friend Woodstock. And I'm going to open this one. And just like the ones before it, it has a continuous pattern. Nothing is cut off at any of the folds. I have to say, I've hardly ever seen napkins printed like this, the long ones, and I love it. It's got a covered bridge. It's got a sleigh riders. 
I can think of so many things to do, but right off the bat, I would say a little sign. And if you're going to do a sign, I would suggest add a lot of faux snow and glitter. And it would be absolutely stunning to hang on a wall. Really pretty decor. This is another napkin I'm thinking Christmas and winter. This one comes in a set of two. That means you're going to get a better price. You open it, all six panels are printed. Here's another one, cute little doggies. Again, you're going to get two and that is a savings. Nice pink background and it's covered with all different kinds of animals. At first I thought it was just dogs and cats, but I think there's some foxes in there. So that was just a sampling of napkins. Now I'm on to a couple DIYs. For my first DIY in this showcase, and I actually have two, and I usually only do one, but I'm going to do two because it's Christmas. I'm going to be using these wood squares from Vippy's Designs. It's a relatively new product they're carrying, but they're a perfect size for beginners, and they make really cute little signs. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of white linen Rust-Oleum paint on it. It's my favorite chalky paint. I buy big containers. I put it in little containers. And if you notice, I put a label on that. I have to show you, and I'm going to do it at the end of this video, what I use to get those labels. I use it for all of my crafting, but I use it for tons of stuff around the house as well. I can't wait to show you. Okay, let's let that dry. This is a napkin I'm going to be using. It's so cute. It's got gnomes hiding in a garden, and I am going to be putting that on the square. It fits. I'm going to be using my Cricut Craft Iron because we're going to be using the iron-on method. But wait, I'm not going to be using Mod Podge in this case. I'm going to be using another product. It's going to make making signs so quick. Now, before I get started, I want to tell you about a surface I have been using to do the iron-on method on top of. This is a silicone mat. It has a little cup on it. You can use it to put your brushes in. I actually use it as a little trash bin. It's got all these spaces on top. You can use them for paint. I actually put things like Google eyes and beads, and it keeps them from rolling around. Now, this is made of silicone, which is important when you're using a Cricut iron or any craft iron because it gets hot, and you're surface has to be heat resistant. That's so important. So I like using a silicone mat anytime I'm doing the iron on method. All right. Like I said, I'm not using Mod Podge in this project. I'm using something different. I'm going to be using plastic wrap as the adhesive. And I'm going to tell you right now, the cheaper the plastic wrap, the better. Don't use anything expensive. All right, so here is the napkin and the wood is dry. And for this project, I'm only going to need one of the panels. You just put those other three panels off to the side. So with decoupage, remember, we only use that top printed ply. So I'm putting some Mod Podge on my fingers. I'm pinching up there in the corner and I'm just separating the top printed ply from the bottom ones. And sometimes you just want to do like a little double check to make sure you got all those back plies off. All right. So I usually take the napkin and I put it on top just to kind of get an idea as to where I'm going to want the placement. And now I'm going to put down my piece of saran wrap. And when I put the saran wrap on, I'm going to make sure that it's smooth and it's free from wrinkles, but I'm also going to pull it really taut and try to get it to stick to the silicone mat. Once the plastic wrap is down, I can now put my napkin on top. And because I'm just using the top printed ply, I can see right through that napkin and I can make sure I'm getting the napkin exactly where I want on a little piece of wood. I'm going to place a piece of parchment paper, baking parchment, that's going to protect the napkin, and it's also going to protect my little Cricut iron. I love it. It's a great craft iron. When it's green, that means it's all ready to use. I'm going to start to run my iron across the little piece of wood, and what's happening? That plastic wrap is melting. That becomes the adhesive for making these little signs. All right, you want to make sure it's cool, then you can remove the baking parchment. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hold it up and I'm going to look all the way around the edges to make sure that napkin is well adhered. 
Now my next step, I'm going to be using my finger sander. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I love it. If you I'm going to hold it up and you can see that I have really used it a lot, but that little piece of sandpaper can be replaced. And when one wears out, you just put a new one on. It's a really great um, little crafting tool for you to have with your crafting things. I'm just going to use a downward stroke and I'll tell you, this makes it so easy. Look at that. It went through the napkin and it went through the plastic. And I'm going to get a nice clean edge with this sander. All the edges are now cleaned up and I want to show it to you. I love it. I This gnome napkin is so cute. I love the placement of the napkin. Worked perfect. And remember, I used wooden squares from Vippy's Designs. Very reasonable, by the way. And for my adhesive, I used plastic wrap. Cheap plastic wrap is fine. You can still use Mod Podge um, if you prefer that as your adhesive. Just going to be using the dry glue method instead. And remember, you're going to need baking parchment and a craft iron. I'm going to show you the finished gnome sign um, in a little while, but I thought, you know, I've got my iron out. I want to do another project for you. And I'm using this really cute napkin with the sweaters and the hats and the mittens. And I'm only going to need one panel and there's five panels left. So I'm going to take a little Mod Podge, put it between my fingers, and I'm going to pinch up there in the corner. And I'm removing two back plies this time. Those are the ones that are not printed because with decoupage, we only use a top printed ply. So what are we making? I'm going to show you how to make a greeting card. So that's a piece of cardstock and it's a fold over card. I'm going to do it up and down because it didn't fit across. And what am I using? I'm going to use the same thing I'm using plastic wrap. I'm going to smooth it out just like that and it's going to work perfect. Now that the plastic wrap is down, I'm ready to put my napkin on top of the plastic wrap and because I'm using that top sheer printed layer of the napkin, I can place the napkin exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to take a piece of baking parchment. I'm going to put that on top. That protects the napkin and it protects my little Cricut iron, which I love. And it's green. And you know what that means? It's ready to go. I'm going to start to run my iron. The plastic wrap is melting and the napkin is adhering perfectly. So let me ask, who out there is like me? Do you still like sending cards in the mail? Now that it's cool, I can take off the baking parchment and wow, that's so pretty and it feels so nice. Now I'm going to remove the plastic wrap and it's pulling away, but really the best way to do it is to turn the card over. And when you do that and you pull, the plastic comes right off. That's why I used a silicone mat. Once the plastic is off, I can go ahead and take a pair of scissors. I like these little scissors. It has a nice little cover. It protects it. I really like that idea. And I'm just going to follow along the card and remove the excess napkin. I'm going to finish trimming up this napkin and I'm going to come back to it. But right now, I want to go back to the sign I made using this adorable napkin of the gnomes from Vippy's Designs and their little wood squares that make perfect signs. And for the adhesive, I used plastic wrap. Okay, back to my gnome sign. All right, I added some sparkle and pizzazz by adding glitter to the hat, and I even put glitter in their beards, and I put a little pom-pom on top. Now, I didn't use a Christmas napkin because I wanted it to be a gift that they can keep out all year long. So I'm going to make it a very usable gift by adding one of Vippy's Design's little self-stick calendar pad. It's got a little strip in the back, and when you peel it off, it's sticky, okay? And then I could just turn it upside down and place it right on top of the napkin. And I'm doing it a little bit off center um, because I like the way that looks with the little gnomes. Now, what I did to make it even better, I think anyway, is I added these little magnets to the back. I'm going to give you the link for them. They are very, very strong magnets. This is now something that can go onto the refrigerator. So I don't have to put a little handle on it and then wonder if they're gonna have a spot to hang it someplace. They could just put it onto the refrigerator. So there you go, cute napkin, a cute little calendar that can be left out and used all year long. And in case you didn't know, Vippy's Designs also has round woods. So you could take the same napkin, use the same iron-on method and create round signs. I love this. You know, when you give somebody the gift of a calendar, they'll think about you all year long. 
in addition to the signs, you could put these calendars onto other things like bookmarks. Bookmarks are also a very practical gift to give. It's very usable. Um, Dippy's Designs has these little calendar pads in all different sizes. And you know, when I was making this video and because I did the greeting card, I thought these items, the coasters, the signs with the calendar on it and the bookmarks, these would be very easy to put into the mail. So if you want to give somebody not just a card, but a little gift as well, this would be something that would be very, very easy. And speaking of small gifts, you know, we always like to show our appreciation to different people at the end of the year. And this is a great way to do it by giving them a gift of a calendar, something that they can use all year long. And I love the way this one came out. It would be a great gift. Okay, before I show you my napkin cards, I want to give a product review. I rarely do them, but I bought this a couple years ago, and I absolutely love it. And I bought it for crafting, but I found so many other uses for it. You've seen this on my crafting table. Some of you have even asked me. I use a lot of the same containers. I need to know what's inside. But after a while, I found there were so many other things that I can label, and I want to show you the label maker, and it is rechargeable, and I love that. These are some of the crafting supplies I have made labels for, but check out that bottom one, lasagna, reheat only, and I have a date. I found these are perfect to put on food that I put into the freezer, into the refrigerator, and I know they're still good. These are water resistant, and you know what? You don't need to use any ink, which I love. It's a B21 model, and it's made by a company called Nimbot. Now, I have put the link below, if you want to buy this, I would appreciate you using that link. When you use my links, it really helps my YouTube channel. And again, I really recommend this because I've been using it for two years. I just love that label maker. Okay, now I'm on to my napkin cards. Okay, so to make these cards, I used a napkin. And in order to adhere it, I didn't use Mod Podge. Instead, I used plastic wrap and my little Cricut iron to make my napkin card. So I want to hold it up so you can see how I finished it. Well, I added a lot of glitter, my Mod Podge Extreme Glitter, and then I added these little pearls on top of the hats. That's like their pom-poms. And then I also went and stamped the inside. That's the stamp that I used, Joy, and there's the stamp pad Memento in Love Letter Red. And I took it one step farther and I actually stamped the envelope flap as well. And I'm ready to mail that um, off for Christmas. I made another card to give you some ideas. And this time I used a napkin with poinsettias. And I guess you could kind of give this card in either direction. I guess when you want to stamp something on the inside. And I decided on this one to go the long ways. That was also a rubber stamp. Happy Holidays. And I took a stamp and I did trees using another mementos pad in green. And it looked really cute on the front of the envelope. But I went one step further again. And this time I actually decoupaged a piece of the napkin on the inside flap. I'm ready to put that card in and I can now mail this for Christmas. You can take napkins and use a saran wrap and put them on cardstock. And then you can cut any shape that you want. That's a little gift tag. But I also want to say, doing cards, it's not just for Christmas. So I have a few other samples to show you. These were all made with napkins with the little birdies. That would be perfect for Mother's Day or for Easter. And here's another one with a hydrangeas or lilacs. Very pretty with the bee. I also did the envelope. That is definitely one you would want to hand to somebody and not put in the mail. And guys, it's always hard to come up with a card for guys, right? I found that this one was perfect um, with the deer, and I also did the envelope flap. So now I have a card to give to one of the guys in my life. So remember, you can make napkin cards with napkins, with cardstock, and saran wrap, and a crafting iron. I think I have stuffed so much into this video and I started with all these beautiful napkins from Vippy's Designs. These are Christmas napkins I just put into their napkin shop, but they have hundreds and hundreds of napkins, all different kinds of napkins. Visit their napkin store, www.vippies.com and remember to like and follow them on Facebook and Instagram. 
I love doing Vippy's Designs napkin showcases. They have such beautiful napkins, but I have a lot of projects. I do decoupage mostly, a lot for beginners right here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. And every once in a while, I like to do a product review as well. I love this little label maker, not just good for crafting, but I found uses for all over the house. And you know what? I gave you all the information below. I love projects like this. I put many things on my Facebook page, things that I don't always have in my YouTube videos. So make sure you go over, like, and follow me on my Facebook page as well. All of my YouTube videos are premiered. Don't miss the premieres because we're all there live in chat watching with you. Thank you so much for joining me and Vippies.